All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to my time at Porsche. So, huh. I, okay, I'm not gonna continue. We're gonna start over. Uh, I'm just surprised that I still have a save that functions. It'd be nice if it almost rebooted me back to day one with all my stuff. Eh, no, that might be a little bit much. Okay. I, yeah, day two, month two. So yeah, apparently we'd have a little bit of, oh, what the? I forgot I was wearing a mask. Okay, let's close out of this. We want to start over, largely because I haven't played this game in like a year. And I think they added voice acting and some other stuff, so let's see that. But first, let's take a look at the options. Auto camera, game speed, control of vibration, voiceover English, voice on, lighting on, show accessory hat. Alright, those are good. These look to be... Can I, can I do ultra? I was having issues with this a long time ago. We were having frame rate problems. Maybe it's been fixed, maybe it hasn't. Okay, so voiceover. Bring that to maximum. Bring the music down a little bit, sound effects down even more. Eh, background's probably fine. An input should be okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be using a controller or not. That is a big bear man. Okay, so let's do a new game. This will decide if you should get this or not. It's a charming game. It's like, um, Stardew Valley where you have technically more you can do, but, uh... Maybe not as deep? I don't know. It's charming. I, I put it in the same vein as Stardew Valley or Harvest Moon with some, like, interesting features. Less on the farming. Alright, so for starters, let's be dude. Let's make sure we're dude. I think I'll go talk with the research center. I think I'll go talk with the research center. I think I'll go talk with... I think I'll go talk with the research Definitely center. Definitely that one. So this game has voice acting, of all things, which surprises me. Oh, sweet. We could go with straight-up business mogul haircut. What else can we do? I think... Some of these start verging in on... Oh, right. Hair length. Yes. We've got to be a hairball. That's neat that they add that. So I usually do this one. Let's see. What's our hair going to be? Hair highlight is going to be like... Was it like a red? It's like a red, orange, and then the purple. Okay. Give me a second. Face type. There it is. Skin color. Perfect. Uh, now, I think I was blue. Oh, that's disconcerting. This is all disconcerting with the lips. Um... I mean, I could be pink? I feel like we should be blue. Can I- can I change the lips around? So that I'm- I'm not... Okay. That seems about right. Hopefully I can change the lips. Oh, we can change our face. Cool. <laughs> That's a face. I feel bad, but, uh, ooh. Alright, uh, let's go with this. He seems a little bit more sympathetic. Alright, please let me change the lip color. Or get rid of the lips. Lower face. Okay, lip color. Perfect. Alright, so, well... There we go. I- oh god, our eyes stare back from wherever. Uh, let's go back to upper face. I can now now I can actually compare options. I like that one. I think it fits the colors better. Um, this just worries me <laughs> to no end. Yeah, let's go with that guy. He seems like he at least has some level of a soul. Oh God, you can make a Simpson character. You absolutely can. All right, eyes. We got to space them out. We've got to make them up high. We've got to make them, oh. Extra wide. Oh, I just messed with this. What am I doing? Eye size. Big, small. <laughs> Big. Brow thickness. Absolutely. Eyebrow shape. Yes. Brow position. Down. We are determined. <laughs> 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 oh no! Oh no! What do we do? I think I should have them spaced as much as possible. <laughs> so the options are normal, normal, okay, anorexic, and it is literally a manhole cover. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you 
your freakish hideousness fills you with determination. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, nose position. Yes, maximum nose. N maximum nose. N minimum mouth. Chin. Hmm? <laughs> okay, maybe that last option I need to rethink a bit. Alright, let's go back to mouth size because I think it's- a Oh, none of these are great. All of- Lips worry me. Maybe we should go blue. Uh, lip- Well, this is blue. I, I guess this needs to be blue, too. Maybe this just needs to be lighter blue. There we go. Okay, so it's less lipsticky, a little bit more human now. That's a bit better. Oh, decoration, please let me get a full-on beard. Yes! Alright, that solves some of my horribleness. Alright, what other beards do we have? I guess this is maximum beard. I really- okay, good. So you can get it to match. Perfect. Beard length. Yes. Beard length. Yes. Alright. We are in business. What else can we have? Weird tattoos. <laughs> I can just look like some dude. <laughs> hmm. I have a tiara. <laughs> oh, what do we want? Uh... <laughs> Do we want to just look like somebody pulled us out of, like, a wrestling contest? <laughs> Get, like, a light blush going? Get particularly rosy-cheeked here? It doesn't really work with this skin color at all. Scars. I mean, the freckles kind of work. <laughs> I am not here for capitalism, I am here for blood! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no, what do I go with? The blush is like, it doesn't work. I mean, I guess if I do like this-ish, it looks kind of like a nice blush. Uh, make me nice and rosy-cheeked. I wish I could almost change the, um... Oh. No, no. No, no, gotta keep that mustache. Gotta keep all of this. I... Uh... I guess the only other thing to mess with would be, like... Well, I mean, this is... Some of these are straight up just Silicon Valley. But this doesn't actually look half bad, honestly. This looks pretty bad. I think I like this better, actually. It gets the color better. Okay. What else do we have? Maximum mustache. Oh, uh, really? That's the mustache you choose? Maximum Hitler. Alright, let's not do that. Uh... Yeah, let's, let's just look like we came out of Silicon Valley and retired to this island, I guess. Yeah, the corn rolls worked, but like, I don't know. I I can't imagine how you'd ever wash those. So, I like for whatever reason that hairstyle always like makes me uncomfortable. Cause like I f I I can only imagine washing it would either be a nightmare or I'm impossible. We're coming up on Porsche. Whoa, that looks beautiful. What are you gonna do there? Ruin diving. Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while. Always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. My character has problems blinking. He can't blink. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. How do you do? Ah, good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Barnarok, right? That's quite far. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. 
I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Okay. So Dash uses EP. Oh, it's that ring. Don't wander too far. Oh. <laughs> ah, run faster! <laughs> I'm gonna pugilize. Oh. And here we are. Your that was fast. Workshop. This place sure has seen some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks homely. Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Dude, when you read this letter, I'll already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This is all so sudden. I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it'll brace you for the wind and cover you from the rain. I've left my workshop handbook. The details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy, even Here's though I've never once seen you. Of your paws. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you'll need to prove your worth for a couple of tests. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Is it just me, or is, like, the audio quality on the protagonist's voice considerably lower than everybody else's? I, I think so. Oh, time to wake this up. This house is so worn. I need to fix it, or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. And yes, the audio definitely, like, layered on top of itself there. Okay, so we gotta go get some wood. I'm trying to decide if I want to do this keyboard, mouse, or controller. I don't actually know which is going to be more comfortable. Oh well. Let's find out. Meet him at the guild. Okay. What would we have from the Porsche Times? Hello, new subscriber. This is the Porsche Times. We are sponsored by the city government and local commerce guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We are a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out on the first day of every month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office in Main Street. Okay, I'm going to turn down the uh the music a little bit i had it to a decent level but apparently it's still pretty loud okay well i mean luckily the voice acting and the story of this game is fairly light in comparison to cat cat leave we've met cat hello person, new person. You just inherited that work still loud town, right? oh, sorry where are my manners? I'm Sonya. <laughs> you can just immediately spar. <laughs> spar! What? Oh. Um. How do I dodge? I don't know. Okay, that's how I dodge. So she does a lot more damage than I do. So I have to be very careful about that. But that's okay. Because <laughs> all I have to do is just stay, uh, play keep away with her until I can recharge my combo effectively. Whoa, Dark Souls rolling is kind of awkward. What is with all of these townsfolk being like, ready to fight at all times? I don't get it. I gotta get me some better weaponry at some point. There we go. I got some bruises from that. Oh, sweet! We get gold! <laughs> Supply. Oh, you must be the new builder the mayor told me about. I'm Minister Lee of the Church of Light. It's a pleasure to meet you. Alright. Uh, we cannot spar with the pastor. I'm gonna turn down the music even further because it is still kinda loud. I guess sound effects and music will just live down there. All right, uh, Higgin, Higgins. You must be the competition. Whatever, the more the merrier. Bring it on. Bring it on, indeed, Higgins. Bring it on, indeed. Watch him be like really high level. 
Okay, he's level 10. That puts me in an awkward spot. Now, I don't know if it's... There is a timer. Oh, boy. Higgins is uh, a force to be reckoned with, apparently. This man is a clobber knot and a half, and I've lost. Okay, there's, there's our goal now. Get to the point where I can fight Higgins freely. Not open yet. What time is it? Oh, it's almost open. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here and stare. Mm. Mm. <laughs> nice to see you. How are you settling in? Yeah, I got my ass kicked by Higgins. Hang in there. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. You need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the Total Tools in Central Square. After you have the raw materials, you need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your paws with one in your yard, so check and see if that one still works. Hi there. I know who you are. I'm Antoine. We'll probably be seeing each other a lot. <laughs> I can spar with literally everyone. Okay, so we're gonna have to put off sparring for a little while, as I'm apparently a one week hell of a baby man, and that's the problem. So, that to auto run, cool. I'm just gonna go say hi to actually everybody because I think that's gonna help. Hello. Bye. Hi, O. You must be the person the mayor was talking about. I'm kind of simple, but I hope we can be friends. <laughs> I'm kind of simple is clearly the most complex looking character. Okay, second most complex looking character. They have jiggle physics in this game, why? Oh, who might you be? <laughs> I'm just gonna say hi to everyone. I don't actually care to talk to them. I just want to meet them so they're on my list. There's not a whole lot about half of these characters, and that's probably for the best. Hi. I haven't seen you around. You are? Each flower has its own language. My favorite flower is the bellflower. It speaks of true love. Because realism wander. Mm-hmm. Realism. Gotcha. I wish I could just... Oh, sweet. I can just bump into him repeatedly. Vengeance! Vengeance! Alright, we should probably actually do stuff. Okay. So yeah, let's go back. It does feel like... How's the frame rate looking? It looks better. Uh, when I last couple times I played this, the frame rate was problems, uh, to say the least. It it definitely would like get kind of hitchy out in the field, but it looks like now everything is perfect actually. So that's good. I don't know. I I'm always a little bit hello. That was we got bull gloves. Yes. Oh, worn gloves. Okay, so I'm assuming worn gloves are for, uh... Well, I mean, it's really just my own hands, but bigger. It's like, it matches the color of my skin perfectly. It's honestly disconcerting. And I'm not sure how to feel about it. Let's just wander around grabbing sticks and stuff. Unfortunately, because of my, uh, my fights with the locals... I'm a little bit on the tired side, so we're just going to grab what I can. And then probably sleep. I'm not actually sure if, uh... I don't think building stuff actually takes stamina. I think that's something you don't have to worry about. Dude, just put some gloves and hands swelled right up. Yeah, I just put on, like, sweatbands and my hands just grew accordingly. <laughs> oh god, that's horrifying. Right, let's see if the old lady gets pissed at me again. So, there's something you can do. I want to see if we can do chicken battle. Ha 
<laughs> ah! <laughs> they really don't like it when you do this. <laughs> oh man, I, I don't know if he, any of you guys watched my original videos on this, but one of the last ones I did, you'd pick up the chicken and it went into like ultimate battle music, like way, way more aggressive than that. And I kind of missed that because it was really funny. <laughs> Okay, so we've met Sophie. I just kind of want to meet people, because you get quests from them, or quests to give them things, and knowing where they are helps. And I think once you meet them, you can track them on the map or something. I, I don't really remember. Okay. Let's let's get the, uh, the axe, the pickaxe, and whatever going. For sale! <laughs> it's just... Oh, hey, they changed this. This looks better. Make a simple axe, simple pickaxe. Uh, let's see, anything else we can make? A wooden basket. Can't fit heavy items. Crit chance. What? So wooden storage requires a lot more wood than I've got. I think we're good. Oh, Emily. Why is she not voice acted? Hi there, I'm Emily, your next door neighbor. It's so nice to have new people move into town. You should drop by my ranch sometime. That's weird. And we've already talked to Oaks. Okay, well we just want to go back and talk to the mayor. I am very glad that they made it so that the um, sprinting used to use up your SP and they've changed that. I really oh, like that. Hi there. Are you new here? I'm Nora. I'm a missionary at the Church of the Light. Nice to meet you. I feel like we're gonna find out that they're kidnapping people and harvesting organs or something. Yeah, just straight up half the voice acting isn't even functional. That's really strange. Yo there, you must be the new builder in town. I'm Arlo, the leader of the Civil Corps. I've only got one rule, no funny business. Then everyone can be happy. Easy enough, yeah? We are not going to get along. So what is this game about? Capitalism. And that's pretty much it, actually. <laughs> ah, excellent quality. Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Okay. What's, the, what's this? Gift exchange. Oh. So we can trade things. So that's fisherman's badges for a shirt. Interesting. I haven't seen that before. I have no idea what that is. All right. Yeah, are you a smurf? I mean, aren't we all? Secretly, deep down? Probably not. Okay, let's start chopping some trees. Tree! Let's see, do we have an EXP bar that I can see anywhere? I don't think so. It's unfortunate, I'd actually like to have that information easy. Easily available. I remember leveling being particularly slow with this game. Never mind. Maybe it's faster. Maybe it's just one of those that it slows down considerably after the first couple levels. Hard to say. Alright, uh, let's see. Check inventory character. Here we go. Okay, skill tree tutorial. Uh, at most five points can be added to one level. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we can do fighting, extra EXP, endurance usage decreases by three when dodge rolling. Let's see, endurance usage usage decreases by three per second when running. We should probably do stamina cost reduction instead. Tree kicking and harvesting activities have a 6% chance of doubling the loot. I mean, I feel like I should go full gather for the time being. 
Uh, what, do I need? what do I need more of? Probably Axe Mastery. Because what else do we have? Max health, defense, damage. Yeah, there's, it doesn't look like there's anything that increases my SP generation. Mount training. I didn't realize you could get a mount. Let's increase the workshop points by one and rewards by 5% after completing each commission. Oh. Okay, that's kind of important. Uh, let's probably go axe for now. That seems like the better option. I've got a lot of trees to cut down. And maximizing, like, the more I can do with what little SP I have, the better. At least until we actually start getting stuff done. And yes, I am I am well aware this is a post-apocalyptic game. I think there's, like, uh, effectively, like, was it the Church of Light specifically, like, gathers lost technology to just dispose of? Because they see it as evil. Okay, so we can read that later. I kind of understand how it works anyway. So we want to make a stone furnace, uh, but I got to make a stone stool and can't do that. Okay, with the relevant part equipped, go up to it, press left click. Parts can be installed or recovered. Yeah. And then press E or X to pick them up. Unfortunately, I don't think I have enough stone to make what I need. Because we got to make a stone, stone stool. Oh no, we have enough. And then I should have a bunch, but let's, let's see. You need to have it selected in your quick bar. I never understood why you need, need to have these things selected in your quick bar. That always seems like a really odd choice to me. I guess it's like immersion, sort of. Okay, so I've made it. Uh, I should probably put my furnaces back here. Now this is better. It's sort of better. I remember I hated laying stuff down originally. That never felt very good. So furniture can be turned when placed on the ground. And then retrieved by swinging an axe at it or pressing and holding the designated button. Gotcha. Whee. <laughs> yeah. How much did I miss? Eh, just opening stuff and nothing important except for wander fighting random people in town. I don't know, that sounds semi-important. Great job. This is your builder license. Congratulations. Now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered. After which, you can start taking regular commissions. Come back and talk with me after you register. Oh, right. Can't do any commissions yet. <laughs> da, da 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 da! Da da I'm just imagining, like, you pick up the license and it's like, da 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 da! But you never put it away, so it's just like, da! Anyway, Mayor. Welcome, welcome! You must be the new builder! I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. I've actually never seen that word before. Let's see the actual definition. Telesis. That is a... a prog progress that is intelligently planned and directed. The attainment of desired ends by the application of intelligent human effort and means. I've never heard that word before. I'm here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? What is our workshop called? Our workshop is called Dude Shop. Alternatively, Dude's Hop. Dude can't spell well. Nice name. There, your registration is complete. Thank you. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meet once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> 
<clears throat> I will cover town and world events at large, uh, the usual. Farewell, I am a builder. All right, <laughs> let's go. Whee! I kind of don't want to put this on my wall just so I can carry it around like a complete boob. Wait, can I do that with log? Dang. There's got to be some other goofy things that we can carry around like this that are ridiculous. Oh man, we can rebuild the Church of Log! I gotta go back and finish Graveyard Keeper at some point. Maybe once we're done with this, I'll go back to it. Anyway, uh, let's see. Assembly station. Hmm. Honestly, I'm bush, so let's just go go to bed. Uh, probably gonna want to put the builder's license here. Does it even do anything? Nope. All right. <laughs> I am builder. Hold for settings. So what do we have? Sleep <laughs> or dude? Right. Wait. Can I allocate who bed? Who like sleeps in that bed? I might actually. That's odd. All hail this house log. This is so worn. I need to fix it, or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. What? My ward? No, it's mine. All right, fix the gap. Twenty wood. Oh, oh no! I actually have twenty wood. Do I have enough? Ten wood. Oh no. No, my license. Give me it back. <laughs> my license just keeps warping back to that wall spot. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Okay. Um. What the? Oh, interesting. I see, it's because I was picking it up, and it wasn't actually going into my inventory. Well, that's fine. Inventory problems are actually, like, a serious issue with this game. I probably should have fixed my house before I went to bed. Because, yeah, that, that stamina penalty is rough. Well, it's fine. Oh, I see. We were actually supposed to go show it to Presley anyway. Well. Let's fix our house first. And then we'll go back. We're actually getting a lot of EXP here. But it's also just numbers. I actually prefer games where you're getting like 1 to All 10 EXP per. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. Okay, so. I mean, there's still some parts to this house that we should... Oh, it does increase my... Uh... It does increase my max stamina by 20. Okay, so yeah, we're... I, I want to carry the license around as a dumb gaff, but at the same time, that is actually a nice benefit. Hello, new builder. We'd like to remind you that Porsche currently has two authorized runes for you to dive in. An abandoned rune number one above the Church of Light and a hazardous rune in the collapsed wasteland east of town. For your own safety, all other runes are currently off limits. Thank you. We. Okay, good. And it is, it is, in fact, open. Praise the license, Presley. Praise it, Higgins! Praise it! Praise it, you weird gremlin man! Praise me! Praise me! 